how are you? Fine, and yourself? Good, thanks. Welcome to Malta Joy City. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you for hosting me. So your show is starting on Fox Life, Spirit, DSTV Channel 126 tomorrow. Can you tell us a little bit about how you discovered that you have this gift? Um, <clears throat> the gift started around about the age of eight years old, um, where I was able to identify uh, connections of energy in my room. Um, almost like white figures coming towards me. But I, I realised one thing with it was I was not afraid of this. It was exciting and I wanted to play. Um, so it was more something to play with. Um, only to switch on the lights and see that the visions weren't there, the um, souls weren't there. And then looking under my bed, under the pillows, going, well, where is this? I can't find it. Um, and then later, it discovering into my parents saying to me, um, it's 11 or 12 o'clock at night. Who are you talking to on your bed? And I'd be, I'm talking to the angels. Can't you see them? They're sitting on my bed. Um, to then later, through my childhood years, um, saying to my parents uh, when we moved into a new house, I'm not going into the dining room, there's ghosts in there. Um, so it was pretty much part of my childhood in small little ways. Um, spirit was kind to me as a child um, in not scaring me too much with it. Um, very much always understanding there's a presence, always knowing when I was going to get into trouble for something or when someone else was going to get into trouble, but very much sort of not understanding, so just going with the flow. And a lot of the times as a child, I used to think what I could see, others could see the same. Oh, eight. <laughs> it's very <really laughs> young to be mm. surrounded by all of that. How do you mm. embrace that? Um, now it's more like a normal day of life for me. Um, everything's normal for me now. Um, it's just the way I live my life. Um, I'm pretty much used to I'm being different in life now where it's very different for another person than it is for me. But one thing for myself or for others, learning about gifts, um, don't use a fear around it. Embrace it. Embrace it with prayer and love. Um, and you'll probably find the gift warming up to you slowly. You'll also find that the gift will soften with you. Okay, so on your show, you're going to have a few celebrities from around the continent. And you'll be talking, helping them connect. Mm -hmm. those in their lives who have passed on. Um, do you always need to be in the same room as somebody you're doing the reading for? Or no, not at all. You can be in another room. Um, it actually happened on our show where we were reading someone and um, one of the family members listening in another room um, had to come in because part of the reading pertained purely to her and actually not to the person I was reading. So definitely you don't have to be in physical contact, as in face contact with the person. You can easily do it over a telephone, um, you can do it through a message. Um, obviously there's different accuracies and different levels to the meaning of the message, to what strengths you have and to when you're doing it via telephone, face or yes. But yes, you don't have to be in a room to pick up on an energy of someone else. Like I have no idea how any of this works. Mm. So the viewers at home, when they tune in, how can they, what can they expect from the show? Like how can that message come across? Them? Um, I've always said to everybody that um, even if it's not you getting the reading, listen with great intent because sometimes and more than often people have told me that the messages, even if it was for someone else, mean so much to them and it felt as if they were receiving that message. So for everyone who wants upliftment, healing, abundance, joy in their lives, definitely watch the show. Um, I think we've based our show on a lot of integrity, on honesty. Um, and we focused on our main drive and that was always to heal the nation and to heal Africa and that's exactly what you will see in the show. Um, and I definitely think get ready with a box of tissues um, because it's going to be a very emotional show to what we're expressing with people, various people, that um, normal people that we've read, not only just the celebs, it's been amazing. You've obviously been doing this for a very long time. Are the people that you've met, who you've done the readings for that have stayed with you? <clears throat> um, there definitely is. I have a lot of clientele that have obviously remained with me all the way through and you get to remember their stories, know it. Um, but generally with the general reading you can't remember what you've read and you cannot generally remember the person you've read or face. It's very embarrassing um, because people come up to you going, Cindy, and I'm going, I don't remember. <laughs> um, you're not meant to remember, it is a channel. Um, but as time goes by and as you build up relationships with certain clients and with people, you do, you kind of sort of latch on. And then, yes, there is some definitely some stories that have sort of, in a brief way, I can remember certain things. Some not so nice, some very nice. Um, but yeah, majority, if you had to say pinpoint a specific one, I don't really remember all of them, so I wouldn't be able to pinpoint exactly which one. Yeah. The 
this must be emotionally and physically exhausting? Is there a way that you just relax? Is there time that you just switch off and relax? Um, the gift can be very draining and very emotional at times, so it does take its toll on you. Um, one thing that I'll definitely say to anyone out there with a gift and they'll recognize this, it's you've got to rest. Um, you definitely do have to have boundaries in place in taking time out, because remember on your off day, everybody's going to want to come and see you, speak to you, still do a favor here, do a favor there. And it's tough when you have to say no or when you have to make sure you've switched your phone completely off. So I think the first step for me was always learning boundaries, um, respecting myself in order to respect of others. I can't exactly respect them when I'm exhausted and I can't read. Um, another one is also when you're sick, you do sometimes get very sick, it drains on your body a lot, so I suffer quite a bit from headaches from it. Um, so it's knowing, it's knowing when to take that time out, how much you can push yourself with the reads and when to sort of stop. Um, but on the downtime, I definitely say it's sleep, a lot of rest, eating healthy, um, and trying to eat healthy, <laughs> you've got a sweet tooth. Um, and definitely spending time with loved ones, and specifically the cats, I'm obsessed over my cats. They bring me a lot of comfort, but yeah, I think one of my greatest outbursts is reality TV, specifically the housewives. Which one's your favorite? The New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Although they've been, a bit, they've been a bit weak on this one, so I think I'm gonna go with the Orange County girls. They were quite strong this episode, the season through. Um, you mentioned earlier, uh, it was just something, would I ever and who would I ever want to read? Oh, yes. Yes, um, yes. That just stuck with me and it made me, I haven't been asked this before with any of the interviews so far, so thank you for that question. Um, so if I had to say on anyone passed on that I'd love to read and physically connect with, which I haven't, or who I'd love to have met maybe in the living would have been Nelson Mandela um, and just understand his whole journey and see that spiritual change. Um, from being in prison to coming out, uh, learning his levels of the forgiveness and how he showed a nation to forgive. Um, for me, I think that's amazing. I think I could learn so much from that. Um, in the living, I think I'd love to read a Tyler Henry or a Long Island Medium, Teresa Caputo, just because I'd love to see the dynamics of our reads being so different. Um, and then someone else that was weirdly coming through for me was Barack Obama. Um, a different style president and a very spiritual one, which no one really got to understand properly through his term. So yeah, those are the ones I'd love to connect with or connected with. Well, fingers are crossed that maybe one day you live in your spirit <laughs> will go mm. and who you are still going to interview. Definitely. Mm. So are you done filming the entire season? Or yes, <clears throat> our season one is definitely complete. Um, we finished it, I think it was mid-February. Um, with a lot of excitement, a lot of tears, even from our side, like even the crew, that's how I know, grab tissue boxes. Um, it was such an upliftment, it's an amazing collaboration of family members, is what I feel it has become with the Fox family, um, as well as even down to the crew, we're amazing. Um, each person just understood where we were going with this, what we wanted to achieve, and it was amazing to see both all of our <coughs> clients that we were reading coming in and how much they also brought to this and really understood the meaning behind this. And it was, I think, even bigger to see when each person left that release, that sense of closure, that sense of clarity in their minds as they left. It was amazing. It was well, we, just overwhelming. <laughs> we are very excited mm. to watch your show as of tomorrow. And I thank you so much for coming today. And, and thank you. Giving us time, especially seeing that it's your birthday and it's Definitely. your special day. Mm. I hope you have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Your dad is asking you for forgiveness. Forgiveness. She wants to tell you she's sorry. She was working on something she shouldn't have unveiled. She definitely is validating it was a murder. Murder. Please take a tiny break. I'm Cindy Kruger, and I'm a psychic medium. Find out what lies on the other side. Spirit, Wednesdays at 7.55 on Fox Life.